Hello and welcome to part 8 of my absolute beginner's guide where we will briefly talk about Town Hall level 6. At this level a very important element is added to the game which is healing. Yes, finally we will be able to heal up our units which gives us tremendous amount of new options in our attack game. We can prolong the life of all our ground units by using the healer unit. This flying fairy area splash heals from a bit of distance. The higher its level the more healing it does. So far so good, however you need to be quite careful when you choose to use a healer for several reasons. The first reason is that it takes up a lot of housing space. So especially in the beginning you can't use many healers. They are drawn towards ground units close to them that need healing. They cannot heal air units. So be careful where you deploy them and keep them safe from air defenses because they are considered to be flying units. Once they have been targeted by air defenses, healers go down really fast. They don't have a lot of health points and unfortunately they can't heal themselves either. So in short, healers are great but you need to learn how to utilize them effectively. Otherwise they will go down quickly without too much impact on the battlefield. Healers work best in cooperation with the hero unit that is still to be introduced to the game at that level, the Archer Queen. But before this point, just try to get a feeling for how healers behave on the battlefield and how to keep them safe. There is a second way on how you can heal up your units which is a bit more versatile and this is the healing spell. Also this spell is not cheap, it costs double the housing space of a lightning spell, but it is a very powerful spell that can make all the difference between winning and losing a battle. Similar to the lightning spell, it can be dropped anywhere on the battlefield when you attack another base, it heals up any of your units that are located within a circular area for a few seconds. Contrary to the healer unit, the healing spell can also heal up air units. So when you use it at the right time, they may be able, for example, to tank out and survive an air defense building. Healing spells work best on groups of damaged units. If you upgrade them in the laboratory, the healing effect increases. Alright, so now you know the basics about healing. The second element that is added to the game at Town Hall level 6 is the clan capital. We already covered the basics of the clan capital in part 5 of my guide where we talked about clan activities. So you may want to check that out before we go on. Because now I will show you an example on how to attack a district of another clan capital by using your capital army. This is typically done during a raid weekend. Which units you will be able to use will mostly depend on the development status of your clan. Over time you will get a feeling for the types of units that work best for each type of district that you can attack. Today we will look into an attack of the first district, which is the so-called Builder's Workshop. Each district has something like a standard layout of pre-arranged buildings. All these parts can be unlocked and upgraded bit by bit by using capital gold. You can also change this layout, but many clans that you will run into will stick with it. And this also makes attacks a little bit more predictable with regard to the rewards that you will get if you use some standard tactics. As a rule of thumb, with some skill you should be able to loot something between 1500 and 2000 capital gold with each attack. What I found to work quite well in this district are giants, a healing spell and a few minions to clean up. If you have the option, you can also use a few hog raiders for taking out tactical defenses and a battle ram that works similar to a wall breaker. Initially we can only spawn within these two small rectangles here. So we will start by sending our giants to the left defense compartment. They will take quite some damage here and we place our healing spell in a strategic spot so that they are being healed up as long as possible. Our hog raiders now attack the defenses surrounding our spawns so that we will have an easier time with this later on. But now timing is important. We wait until the huge ballista targets the remains of our giants and then send our minions there in order to take it out. Sometimes there are more defenses unlocked during the town hall but not this time. So this will allow our giants to return towards our spawn and take out the rest of the defenses there that our hog raiders could not finish off. While our minions clean up and destroy the town hall. So now all our units will finally go down, which is fine because only the defenses in the upper right compartment are still left, which is a piece of cake for our second attack run. 
We launch the attack with exactly the same units and just brawl it out, backed up by another healing spell. And that should be it. The whole Builders Workshop district goes down safely by only using two attacks. In the upcoming Town Hall 6 practice session I will show you another Builders Workshop attack that was a bit more difficult and that used a slightly different tactic. But nonetheless it could also be solved by using only two attacks. So that's it for today with our Town Hall Level 6 guide. Thanks for having watched this video and for stopping by on my channel. Have a fantastic day!